I suggest, therefore, that this be sold not through a democratic process. That would take too long and devour far too much of the funds to educate the cannon fodder, unfortunately, which populates the earth. We have to take almost an elitist program that we can see beyond our swollen bellies and look to the future in time frames and in results which are not easily understood or which can be, with intellectual honesty, be reduced down to some kind of simplistic definition. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire eco- The future in time frames and in results, which are not easily understood or which can be, with intellectual honesty, be reduced down to some kind of simplistic definition. How dare you? But I digress. So one question might be, why am I pretty confident that it isn't happening? And the answer isn't that I trust the government or everything it says. The answer is that I trust individual people to speak out. And I think governments are actually pretty bad at keeping large-scale secrets. So to be clear, governments can keep operational secrets for a short amount of time if they involve a small number of people. So like the US government was able to keep secret the details of the raid on Osama bin Laden before it happened. And Canadian government can keep small secrets like that too. But Western democracies, as far as I know, just really there's no experience of them having really large programs involving thousands or tens of thousands of people uh, that are really kept secret for decades. And that's especially true uh, uh, for ones that are really strongly prejudicial to the public interest, at least in some people's view. You're calling me a denier. That is a, a word meant to put me down. I'm a skeptic about climate change. And I want to make it darn clear, Mr. Kenny is not a scientist. I am. He's the CEO of the Weather Channel now. I was the founder of the Weather Channel, not the co-founder. And I'm glad you did, because I am addicted to the Weather Channel. I watch a lot I'm of cable news. Now. Hold on just well, a minute. I'm not done. And CNN has taken a very strong position on global warming that is, that it is a consensus. Well, there is no consensus in science. Science isn't a boat. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. There is no significant man-made global warming now. There hasn't been any in the past, and there's no reason to expect any in the future. There's a whole lot of baloney. And uh, yes, it, is, has, it has become a big political point of the Democratic Party and part of their platform. And I regret it's become political instead of scientific. But the science is on my side. I don't think we're going to come to a conclusion about the topic right here. What I do wonder oh, I know though, we're is when not, you because see you wouldn't the... allow it to happen on CNN, but I'm happy well, that we, I got on the air and got a chance to talk to your, uh, to your viewers. Hello, everybody. What there I is do, no global warming. What I do wonder is when you see the government, when you see NASA, when you see other institutions say that 97% of climate scientists agree, do you think they're making it up? I, I, what I don't understand is how you well, square that. Well, that's a manipulated that. figure, and let me explain it to you. Uh, the the uh, government puts out about two and a half billion dollars directly for climate research every year. It only gives that money to scientists who will produce scientific results that support the global warming hypothesis of the Democrat Party of position. So they don't have any choice. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 15th of December. It's 2019, and you are looking at Dr. David Keith. And in this still shot right here from Vice News on HBO, also on YouTube, this video popped up yesterday, and the name of it is Geoengineering May Be the Answer to Climate Change. Well, the only problem with that is I already showed you a short piece from Why Big Oil Conquered the World done by uh, the Corvette Report. This is a two-hour video that you should watch because if you do watch it you'll come to the conclusion that big oil the people behind big oil the people behind the people from big oil are the people that had come up with the climate change hoax and it is absolutely completely and totally an entire hoax many many people have drawn this conclusion and figured this out on their own and yet 
geoengineering and the elitist are pushing it forward no matter what, using all means necessary. While most YouTube channels are struggling, struggling to try to break 10,000 views, even if they have a quarter, a million, half a million subscribers, some channels are enjoying exponential growth and no limitations whatsoever at all, like Vice and many others. These guys are using all tools possible. Women and children have been their favorite thing to use for time immemorial, and this young lady right here is no different. As you can see, she's simply saying things like, how dare you, etc., etc., but she keeps looking straight down at her script. And if you look at her speaking, this girl doesn't look like all her marbles are in one bag. This chick looks totally, entirely insane. Look at this. Do you know what I mean? But this is what these guys use. And they use it ever so effectively. Don't let it bother you that young Greta is listed on the IBM... I'm sorry, the IMDB. I mean, there she is, right there. There's her body of work. She's an actress. And people still fall for this hook, line, and sinker. She's an actress, and you can tell. She's not a very good actress. She's giving a simple speech right here, contorting her face in pain and grief while looking down over and over and over at her script. Because that's what actresses do. Do you see what I'm saying? It's, it's the same old Hegelian dialectic that they come up with all the time. I just showed you a short clip from the Weather Channel founder, where he was straight up explaining how global warming is completely and totally bullshit. And the, the reporter, the talking head questioning him, asked him, what about NASA? Well, let me show you. What about NASA? The climate change people always tout NASA as, they NASA is telling us the ice is melting. NASA is, well, why don't you read some of these articles straight from NASA's own website? October 20th, 2015. Mass gains of Antarctic ice sheet greater than losses. And then you can read about how NASA says we only have weather stations on the coastal points of Antarctica and our satellites can't really read this. It's all nonsense. And this isn't just one isolated article. There's more. Do you see what I'm saying? December 13th. This is last year. Antarctica's contribution to sea level rise was mitigated by snowfall because they discovered that people were finding things out like, well, gee, I don't know. Maybe they were going to my YouTube channel and watching videos like this. 1914. This is important, people. This is important, and this is why this guy sent me this. Hydrographic surveyor. Here's all of his information. Here's their control. In 1914, the biggest body of water per capita or whatever, the largest body of water on Earth was at 1.11 meters. And then we go every 10 years till 2019. This was the highest 100 years ago, and it never went over. Oh, I'm sorry. In 2014, it went over by a crumb and then came back down. You see this right here? Do you know why I keep showing you this over and over and over? Because this is actual science. This tells you what's going on. They continually and constantly tell us that the ocean's rising and that the earth is heating up. Well, this is also them. This is NOAA, right here. National Climatic Data Center of the United States. These were the high temperatures from 1981 to 2010. And then for some reason, they stopped keeping track of it. You see what I'm saying? For some reason. Maybe it's because these big oil guys own this place now. Do you see what I'm saying? But if you look at the average temperatures, we're well below. Well, well, well below and have been for months. I've been making video after video after video since September of 2018 explaining how it's exponentially colder here in the Northeast. The weather is all screwed up absolutely everywhere and it's because of this guy spraying the skies and it amazes me that people cannot see the forest for the trees whatsoever at all them spraying the skies is what's causing what they're calling climate change 
Do you see what I'm saying? They're using puppets. They're using emotions. They're using actors and actresses. They're using children. They're, this is what they do for time immemorial. You see this little girl? She reminds me of something, doesn't she? Do you remember when George Herbert Walker Bush, the New World Order, wanted to put, send us into Iraq and they used this young lady and it turned out to be completely and totally fake, throwing the babies on the cold floor? Remember this? It's the same thing they're doing all over again, except this time it's no holds barred. These guys are hitting from every angle. This is science. This is science. This is propaganda. This is an actress. This is the actual truth, I guess. I don't know, because out of one side of their mouth, NASA will tell us that the ocean's rising, and on the other side, they'll say that it isn't. So I guess they're trying to appease scientists who are figuring things out. But in this day and age, science is simply what it always was. It's voodoo run by madmen who lie out of both sides of their mouth. Don't fall for it. Don't believe the hype. But what I want to know is why the sudden push? If what the sky looks like is this every day, and if they're spraying so bad that people are seeing stuff like this all over the Midwest and United States, including the Northeast, I've discovered, how bad is it going to get? How bad is it going to get? Why wouldn't they just continue spraying like they have been spraying the entire time? You know what I mean? Like, why not continue spraying like they've been spraying the entire time? Why suddenly do they have to come out and push this on the American people using children, actresses, mad scientists, etc.? They, the, they were spraying the entire time. Why now do they have to come out? No holds barred. How bad is it going to be? Seriously, how bad is it going to be? If any of this were true, if any of this were real, all they'd simply have to do is start planting massive amounts of trees. Trees eat carbon dioxide. But that isn't the problem. Because all of this is a complete and total lie. But what I want to know is, how bad is it going to get that they have to come out and tell us that they are intentionally going to start spraying, even though they've been spraying for decades? If you have any idea, leave it in the comments below. Richie from Boston. Links will be pinned in the comments. I am out.